They're called pronghorn because each horn has a, a long point that turns and then a prong coming off each side of it. This species is only found in the Great Plains of North America and it's our only species like them. This is the northern part of their range. Their favorite habitat is the habitat that we have around here, which is called sagebrush steppe. One of their primary foods, especially in the wintertime when there's snow, is sagebrush because sagebrush is just high enough to be above the snow that they can forage it pretty readily. An average adult animal would weigh 60, 70 pounds. Somebody has described them before as a sausage on sticks. They have a fairly robust body and, and little spindly feet. They are the uh, fastest land mammal we have in North America. They were here during the Pleistocene and evolved with other predators that were much faster. We used to have lions here, we used to have fast bears here, and we used to have uh, cheetahs here. So they evolved with those species and that's why they are so fast. So they can easily outrun now coyotes, wolves, bears. They're really hard for anything to kill except when they're little babies and when they're vulnerable. When they're alarmed, all the hairs on their rump go up, and so that alerts other, similar to a white-tailed deer, when they, they flag, put up their tail, uh, the white hairs on the rump of a pronghorn go up and they all take off running. Through their uh, nostrils, they give a snort that they, they blow out through their nostrils. Again, like when they raise their tail hairs, the white flash of their rump, they make that blow to notify others that there's a threat out there and let's group up and let's run away together. They're also, though, very curious. If you're relatively close, they may come to you. Sometimes people wave or wave a red hanky, and pronghorn sometimes come walking to you, and that's to investigate who you are and what you are. The idea is that evolutionary, that showed that they've spotted the predator. No need to waste your time running after me because we've got this figured out. They'll have their fawns from about middle of May through the middle of June, all at the same time. Pronghorn hide their babies out in areas with shrubby cover and then they go away. They go up to a mile away, so then it's hard again for predators to find them because the moms don't give away their location. Eventually, after three or four weeks, they'll be old enough and fast enough that they can keep up with the moms. The moms move back into the herds with other moms and then they're, they're safe. They're really unique and a pretty special species here on the Great Plains.